I'm just going to be creating a water reflection from a panoramic view of a city. So first of all get your picture and then come up to image and canvas size and then change the, the options here to percent. Click the up arrow and change your height to 200. And there we've got our picture enlarged. So then what you want to do is select over the picture, control C, control V to paste it, and then you can just click the transform tool, click the top arrow and pull that down and apply that. Now you need to come up and duplicate this layer first of all. and then come up to filter and blur and then motion blur and the settings that you're looking for here is 90 for the angle and 30, 30 for the pixels click OK to that and then take your skyline layer the one that's got the top section to it and pull it to the, the top and then all you do is take your two reflection layers, just merge them together. There we go. And then come over to your gradient tool. Click on that. Make sure that you've got the background transparent setting on and change your opacity to 50. And then click in the middle. Should be black to white. Make sure you've got that right. Then click in the middle and drag up just to about the halfway point and let go. And then if you duplicate this layer now, there we go, we can get our smudge tool and this is where we create a nice effect in the in the water. So if you just zoom in a bit to the, the reflection on the buildings and just use the smudge tool bring the strength down to about 15% and then you can just create some little ripple effects in with the with the reflection it works best if you just do the, the parts sort of near the top that are that are easier to to see go through and create those ripples. So there we go, there we've got our our nice ripple effect. Now if you come down here to new layer and click on a, a new layer and you want to make sure that that's uh, got a white background where are we? paint bucket, there we are so that should have a, a white background and then you want to come up to filter and come down to the noise section and add noise and you're looking for Gaussian and monochromatic and about 350 for the, the setting here so just click OK to that and then come back up to the filter again and select blur and then motion blur and this time you're going to just make the angle zero as you can see that follows the, the line of the the water and pixels uh, should be 30 or 40 so I'm just going to keep that at 30 ok that and then come up to image adjustments and then levels and what you want to do is just pull your your black into uh, quite a dark area there and pull the grey down to, to lighten it up and you can just leave the, the white where it is so just ok that and now what you want to do is come up to your edit transform menu and choose perspective and this gives you the 
small boxes on the, the edge of the, the layer and you just want to pull the, the bottom one out and then pull the top one in. Just make sure that you the the filter locked inside the, the canvas. So there we go, and we can just apply that. Now if you come up to filter again and we're going to go to blur and then Gaussian blur and we're just going to select two for the, the Gaussian blur here and then what you're going to do is copy this layer hide it for the moment and then click back down to the layer that you were on before click up to the blend and choose soft light there we go, it's starting to take effect and then change the opacity just bring that down to about 50, that should be fine and then come back up to the layer that you were just on and click on channels and then come down to the load channel button just select that and then come over to your quick mask select that and then back to our main layers and we can just use the selection tool here just going to click on the top and just select the, the top section of the picture and then we're going to fill that with black we're just going to use a shortcut instead of the paint bucket we're just going to use control sorry alt and delete and that colors that that colors that in and then just come off the quick mask and then you, we've finished with this layer so we can just delete that layer pull that down there and then if you create new layer and this time again fill with black so use the shortcut alt delete there we go and then select the, the layer that we've got there and as you can see it it highlights with the with the boxes round and you just want to click on it and just drag it just a bit, bit further down just a couple of nudges down there we go and we can just deselect to get rid of all the selections that gives us just a bit more shadow and depth into the the, the water uh, so now if you come up to the blend and you're just looking for the soft light there we go and just change the opacity as well you can take that down to about 30 35 there we go just gonna keep that at 30 there and then pick your other layer as well this one here and just bring that down it's at 50 just now but you can bring that down just a, a bit more just so we can create a nice effect and there we go that's how to create a, a nice ripple water effect on a reflection of a panoramic give it a try